Carrie Mobley is here with us. She's our garden expert. Not only do you know a lot about flowers, but you also know a lot about working in the garden. And I will tell you, when I first, wherever I've lived, I've always had a wheelbarrow, right? And I will tell you this, none of them ever folded. And they are the biggest, bulkiest. Well, let's, let's oh. take a look at one. If you come on over, you see they're big, they're solid construction. And they hold, you know, they hold a good amount of weight, right. but you got to fill the t uh, tire with air all the time. But Carrie, that takes up a huge amount of real estate in your garage or your shed. This, which holds up to 100 pounds, it weighs, what does it weigh? Less than nine pounds. Jeez, look at this Less thing. Less than nine Gosh, pounds. Smart this is. And I love this guy. <clears throat> you and I were having this conversation. I think we both at one point had our wheelbarrows in the garage yeah. and then we needed the garage. Right. And so we ended up, I know I put mine outside. It is all rusted. The tire is always flat and sure it holds over a thousand pounds, are we really moving a thousand pounds anymore no. in our life, guys? No, no. I think we're past that. No, you have something that heavy, you shouldn't be doing it yourself. So, and again, <laughs> it does, you know, it does fold up. We've got a nice hook and loop closure here, and then it's got a hook on it, so you can hang it on any wall. You know, it's got a no flat tire on it, so you're never gonna have to worry about whether or not that tire needs filled up. It's got that great lining that just simply um, uh, wipes out clean, or you can take a hose to it, that heavy heavy duty canvas material and you can see it just goes right over grass you can load it up with firewood yeah. you can put mulch in it mulch and, in there. and even sometimes if you just have a bunch of bulky stuff it might not be too heavy right. but it certainly is easier to just load everything up here than it is to you know carry it's, it by yourself it's the every man or woman wheelbarrow right because a lot of the big ones first of all I'll show you I'll show you the big one <coughs> Carrie would you just hold this for me for sure, a sec so so, obviously, and this isn't even a very good, I mean, this one's relatively cheap. Right. Um, it's plastic on top, but it's very tippy, all right? And it's tippy for, for several reasons. First of all, uh, you see that wheel in the front because the, the wheel is an is a inflated wheel, so it's rounded. So it has a tendency to move back and forth, okay? Um, and I'm not totally proponent. The problem is, where do I put this when I'm not using it? It takes up, you, it doesn't fold. It's huge and bulky, all right? Nine out of 10 times the tire goes flat because you have it in the garage or in the shed where you can't control the temperature, right? This is a solid wheel and it's a solid flat wheel. It's not as tippy. You have the stabilizing bars on either side. You have stretch material so you can load it as much as you want with, yeah, with stuff that would normally be a backbreaker. And now with those nice easy grip handles, Carrie can, can port that anywhere she wants without it falling all over the place. Well, yeah. and, and gardeners, we are tough people, right? We're not afraid to get our hands dirty. We are not afraid of hard work. I carry, you know, bags of mulch if I have to, but at some point, why am I taking one bag at a time? I can load this up with three, four bags. I can take it to the backyard. And when I'm done using it, I can simply fold it right up. See, this is so stupid and heavy that I can't even, you know what yeah. I mean? Ugh, ugh. Uh, if I weren't on television, I would have just simply dumped it out. Yeah. I would have done that, but I'm trying to just to be pretty for you all. So now here we go. We've just loaded and unloaded. Watch this part. I mean, how many times can I just... So when you're not using it, you guys, you can just hang it anywhere, you know, in that no flat tire. And yep, exactly like you said, you've got these comfort grip handles here. This is powder coated steel, which is why it can hold so much weight, but weigh less than nine pounds. Yeah. You gotta get this, I'm telling you, there's already great reviews on hsn.com. People are loving yeah. this and, and we understand why. It's mostly it's, five star. It's, it's, yeah. I think it's because first of all, versus that one which probably costs you 79 or 89 or 99 bucks, you're getting it for about half that price at 44.99 and you can hang this on a nail in your garage, on a hook. I, like I have a shed, I could put it in the shed. And you don't have to baby it. You're going to be able to put up to 100 pounds of stuff in there. And for the average person, that's enough. Yeah. I don't need to be lifting more than 100 pounds. You don't need to be lifting more than 100 pounds. And we've got enough wood in here to have a fire in the fireplace right. or several of them. And look, not tippy, easy, simple, lightweight, yet you still feel sturdy. 
Right. Yeah. And listen, we have things to bring from one place to another. Yep. And sometimes, you know, when you get those garden carts that have the smaller wheels on them, it's difficult to go over certain kinds of terrain. You've got this great wheelbarrow style, right? That nice triangular style, but with the no flat big tire. This you're able to get over the snow, the ice, the grass, the mulch, the rocks, the concrete, and you're gonna be able to do it without breaking your back quite literally. All right, if you wanna grab one of these, you can use FlexPay. If you've never shopped with us before, use any major credit card. If you don't have a credit card with us, you can get an H10 credit card and get $10 off. Hey, money's money. That would drop your price down to $34.99 plus your shipping and handling and tax. If you wanna get one of these, I encourage you. I know it's March and you're like, well, I'm not gardening yet. That's why we're, we have stuff on sale, right? Early in the season. Uh, you get to May, April, or April, May, June, none of this stuff is going to be on sale. It's all going to be full price. So it's a way to get $15 off plus another 10 if you get a new credit card. And it's practical. It's not like if I bought that other wheelbarrow, my first question would be like, where the heck am I going to store this thing? Right. I'd probably leave it outside because I'd be like, it's not even worth putting indoors where it's going to rust and it's going to fall <gasps> apart. Oh, you know what I did with mine? What? Oh, I should bring in a picture. Did you make like, so, a plant stand out of it? Yes, because mine <laughs> rusted out so bad that it ended up with holes in the bottom of it. Yeah. And I'm like, what am I, dilapidated tire? It's such a Midwest thing. I'm born and raised in Michigan, right? So I'm like, I'm going to turn that into a planter. Use it. You Recycle guys? it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's the only time that my wheelbarrow can look attractive outside because I tell you what, what an eyesore. It takes yeah. up so much room. But that doesn't mean that I don't hide. have things right. to carry. Weighs less than nine pounds. Hold it up again, Carrie. Let me see. Yep. I mean, look at this thing. You got it? Look at this. Look I at mean, that guy. You can't do that with a regular wheelbarrow. You just can't. Bulky, heavy. I, in fact, I know a lot of people won't even go near a wheelbarrow because they're like, forget it. I've it's had, too intimidating. I've had bad, yeah. I've had bad luck with those things. Get yourself one they of these. They do always tip, don't they? $15 off. That's like a flex pay. 830-125 if you want to pick it up. We're almost out of time. Mm -hmm. Grab it. You'll be thanking us down the road yes, when sir. you use it. <laughs> All right. Is that it for you? Yes, sir. Great job. Thank you. Great job. We, let's let's remind them of the butterfly bush. All right. Give me, uh, give me, I got I have 180 yes. left. Go ahead. Talk These about it. These are absolutely blooming monsters.